Hello guys, I hope you're doing fine and welcome back to Cyrix Space. And what do we have here? Well, this is my little decent rocket test stand, Black Throne. And what does it do? Well, exactly that what it sounds like. So let me give you a quick introduction with some details. As you can see, we have a model rocket or if you want to use a rocket terminology, you would say that is the first stage of the rocket with a thrust vector control. That being said, I have to mention that this specific TVC is not for me. I did not design it. I just printed it out with my 3D printer because currently my own TVC is under development. But that's another story. As you can see, we also have a 4x7 segment display. We have a computing unit. I'm using here an ST nucleo board because that's actually actually a quite cool board and I like it and that's why I'm using it. And as you can see we also have some kind of a flame diverter or a flame trench or however you want to call it. The test stand is organized in two parts. We have a hot side, that is the side where the model rocket is mounted, which you see in this scene. And then we have a cold side and the hot side and the cold side are separated by two LED walls, which you see on the right side. And of course we have on the cold side a power supply. As you can see I'm using four 18650 batteries and then these are connected to the computing unit. As I mentioned I'm using the ST Nucleo board. At the top you can see that I have a board with eight relays but I'm currently only using four of them. And then we have some kind of an emergency switch which I can use to switch off the power of the relays in case that I need it. What we also have is an FTDI which is connected to my spare tablet and I'm using the tablet to send commands to the computing unit to the nuclear board and on the nuclear board there is software running which I wrote myself and this software receives those commands and hopefully does what I want it to do. As you may have seen the software is currently in the idle mode or the system is in the idle mode and then I'm going to send a command via the tablet to the system go into the run state and if the system is in run state I can enable a TVC test to do a hot static fire test. What you also can see is that my choice to use a 7 segment display was probably not the best idea but we have to fix that later. That was a quick introduction, let's do the first TVC test. But first let's take a quick look at how I built it.
Okay, so the very first static fire test went actually quite smoothly, nothing exploded obviously and the computing unit did what it's supposed to do, so let's do the second test. Okay guys that was it for now, a quick update on my rocket test stand but there is certainly more to come so see you on the next video, until then take care and don't forget to rocket.